Hello, nice to see you again. Let's look at another option of the COCA search window. Next to the list function, we find the chart function, which displays the distribution of a search term in the different sections of the COCA. As a quick reminder, the COCA is compiled from text from eight different genres in five-year blocks. Let's now look at our search term on the other hand again. We know it occurs quite frequently in the COCA, but we don't know if it is used equally frequently in all genres. To find out, let's apply the chart function. Instead of in a list, the results are now shown in the form of a table and a bar chart. At first glance, we can see that the search phrase is used most frequently in academic texts and least frequently in TV and movies. Also, in contrast to the list search, both absolute and normalized frequencies are displayed. This is necessary for accurate comparability since the sections do not have exactly the same size. Another difference to the list search is that only the overall frequency of the search term is displayed, not every single token. To demonstrate that, go back to the search section and type in on the asterisk hand. As a result, you can see the distribution of all phrases in each section, but you do not see what the asterisk stands for. By the way, just as in the list search, you can look at the context by clicking on the bars. Finally, here is a summary of the differences and similarities of the two search functions, list and chart. Well, so much for the chart function. And please, don't forget to practice. See you again soon.